Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm taking a look at the RG1DX by Ruurock. So I'm actually very excited about making this video. I've been waiting months to get my hands on one of these helmets. I found out about them just a couple of months ago, and by the time I got onto their website, they were pretty much sold out of all the designs in the sizes that would fit me. So I had to wait until the winter season, which is now. And so, like I said, I am stoked about this helmet. Here's a look at everything you get right out of the box. One new feature this year is that they actually included the GoPro or action camera mount directly on the helmet. So you don't have to mount it, you don't have to stick anything there, drill anything into the helmet. Uh, the way they did that was it's actually where the visor goes. So once you unclip the visor and remove it, you can just mount the camera directly to the helmet, which like I said, I think is a really cool new feature. Now the goggles for this helmet I was very curious about. On the website it does look like there is a slight tint to the actual lenses themselves and uh, that was important to me because I do ride the scooter at nighttime so I needed to make sure I was going to be able to see if uh, you know I was wearing these goggles here. Now as you can tell they unclip very very easily it's just two clips on the side and then a couple of magnets that hold them in and then all you have to do is just basically remove it from the, the goggle housing itself. Super thick padding on the other side, they're very comfortable to wear. I haven't used them for an extended period of time, but just from the few miles I have worn them, uh, I don't see any reason that these are gonna be uncomfortable for a long period of time. Now getting back to the lenses here, as you can see from this, they are very tinted. Um, if you wear the goggles and get up to a mirror and try to see your eyes, it's basically impossible. So if you ever do wear these at nighttime or in low light situations, it's probably not gonna be very safe. It's like wearing basically a, a dark pair of sunglasses. I wouldn't say they're completely blacked out, but they're definitely on the dark side. Like I said, very easy to get these lenses back in. Just get it close enough to the housing and the magnets pretty much do the rest. Lock in the clips on the side and that's that. So of course, what got me hooked on these helmets was how absolutely brilliant they look. But after doing a little bit of research, what I found out was uh, the helmets are actually very safe as well. As you can see from this page here, they are snow, skate, and cycle approved. They have certifications in all three of those categories. So if you do have this helmet, you're gonna be safe pretty much wherever you use it. On top of those certifications, they do have a technology built into it called Rion. And what this is basically is something included in the liner, some soft gel that upon impact actually hardens. And according to Ruurock, it actually is supposed to reduce the chance of brain injuries by up to 30%. So that's a humongous safety feature included in this helmet. And not only that, they do have a Reco reflector built in as well. So if you're using this in the snow, what this means is that if you're ever caught somewhere buried in an avalanche or just stuck in general, um, it makes it a lot easier for them to find you. This uh, Reco detector essentially sends out a signal and the reflector from the helmet bounces it back, kind of pinpointing your location. So if you ever do find yourself in a pinch, this is gonna become very helpful to find you. The chin strap on this helmet is absolutely revolutionary. I know it sounds like something super simple, but um, it's just so much easier than any other chin strap that I've ever used. Even just a simple clasp, like the normal bike helmet, it's even easier than that. Uh, it uses a magnet, and then basically when you want to remove it, you just slide down the tab, and it comes right off. But looking at this, I'm using a lot of force, and I can't pull this thing apart. But as soon as you slide it up and down, it pops right off. Very, very cool design. Last but not least is the Shockwave audio system. Now at the time of filming this, they haven't released this yet. It's actually set to dispatch on October 20th. So I'm definitely gonna review that once I get my hands on those. This next section of the video, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the different ways that you can wear this helmet. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you the difference from the current helmet that I have and how much more awesome the new helmet is in comparison to this one that I'm wearing.
So a little side by side for you guys. Uh, I think the difference is huge. Uh, I feel so much better when I'm out riding the scooter, just more confident, just doing things in general because I feel safe. Uh, I know that the helmet on my head is actually going to keep me safe if something were to happen. So anyways, let me know what you guys think, uh, what version you guys would get, uh, or if you guys are in the market for a helmet, if you had any questions about it, I, I definitely would love to answer any of those for you. So if you haven't already become a subscriber, make sure you do that and please like this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you guys next time.